Hello everyone and welcome to Molly Robotics. My name is Jennifer. And my name is Mike. Hallo und herzlich willkommen zu Molly Robotics. Ich heiße Jennifer. Ich heiße Mike. Over the next 25 minutes, you are going to witness a demonstration of the world's first automated kitchen. And today our robot is going to make some delicious crab bisque, a rich creamy soup created by the famous English celebrity chef Tim Anderson. And he's the winner of the well-known BBC cookery show called MasterChef. Um, yeah, Tim was here with us from Monday to Tuesday, but unfortunately uh, he left, and you can now only see him here on the video. So, <laughs> so stay with us, enjoy our demonstration, and try our incredible crab bisque cooked entirely by our revolutionary robotic technology. So the robot will now independently turn on the hub and will then add butter to the pan. And yeah, now the robot will steer the milk butter with a spatula. There you go. Now the robot precisely copies every single hand movement that Tim made. Now Tim cooked in this kitchen back in the UK and using our digital motion capturing system, we were able to pick up on every single cooking movement that Tim made back in the UK. Now we pieced it all together and we now have the full cooking process which is now what you are about to see. Look at the way the spatula as well incidentally just wipes against the pan uh, just to get all the remaining butter off. It's now going to add some chopped shallots and stir them into the melted butter. Yeah, and the robot is able to exactly produce the hand movements at the same speed and sensitivity as any human hand. Yeah, so what made us invent a robot that cooks? Well, the inventor actually wanted to improve people's lives in the food technology industry. If you think about it, if you have one of these in your own kitchen, you could make your food healthier, tastier, more enjoyable, and also much less time consuming. Yeah, and this technology also enables us to enjoy Michelin star quality eating in our own homes. So just imagine that when you're in your kitchen tonight. Exactly. It's also educational. I mean, imagine your kids or even other adults watching this in their own kitchen, watching a potential master chef here in their own kitchen, picking up on different movements that he's making. Uh, you'll be able to learn from that, make, put that into your own cooking skills. Yeah, and now we see the robot as adding seasoning salt to the mixture and how it's being steered. Just going in there. Now, the automated kitchen was actually created or thought of by a technology inventor who is London based, uh, Mark Olenik. Yeah, and Mark searched the world in order to create this product. He brought the best technology partners from all over the world together, such as the United Kingdom, the United States, Germany, Italy and Russia. Again, just wiping those remaining shallots from the, uh, from the spatula into the pan. And at this stage, our master chef Tim adds chopped garlics to the mixture, and so does our robot. Now, the hand is actually one of the most complex parts of the human anatomy. If you wiggle your fingers, there are multiple parts of your hand that move. And obviously these are no different. So you, another British-based company, Shadow Robots, have actually spent the last 18 years trying to create the most uh, advanced robotic hand, and they've achieved it. So to put it in perspective, there are 20 individual motors per hand that you see there. Uh, now NASA, who have space probes on different surfaces uh, in the universe at the moment, only have 16 per hand. So this is right at the pinnacle of technology here. Sure. So it's just letting everything infuse into that melted butter now. In 
fact, Tim was here uh, on the Monday and Tuesday, and so we had the opportunity to ask some questions, and uh, so did the audience as well, and he had quite a few good ones. So we asked him, what is the most basic thing this does that's just taken for granted? And he actually mentioned stirring. Now, stirring is obviously one of these mundane things that you guys don't really know, uh, just don't really sort of take for granted, essentially. Um, but actually, you've got to stand over a pan, it's effort and it's very, very time consuming. This just does it without complaining and it will just do it for as long as it needs to be done and it can just sit there and do it. And that's fantastic. You can go and do whatever you want to do in your free time.